process. I did this whole install without any lace glue, without even doing a ball cap method. Girl, I'm trying to save these edges, and it came out pretty good. Aye, aye, look, that a thing your favorite pet bitch, that a thing your favorite pet bitch, yeah. middle finger in all of my pictures just to remind y'all I ain't having it. Hold it, got the dumb pee, yeah, pour it, know what I mean, bitch, on it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see, you wanna deal on my shit so high, yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What is good, you guys? I is back with another hair review, okay? This one is from Kalei, I believe that's how you pronounce it. We're gonna get into all the details, all the unboxing, intro, and all that. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please join the fam, turn on your push notifications, and follow me on social media. So yeah, they give you everything that you need in this box. You don't get nothing extra like lashes, which is something that I do always look forward to, so... Anyways, um, at least the hair is really good quality, okay? Do you see the lace? Do you see the pre-plug? The pre-baby hair? We love that. And these cute highlights just add an extra touch. So, um, straight off rip, the hair was super soft, super manageable. And I love the construction of the wig. Um, it is smaller on the side. So, if you like doing side parts, this wig isn't for you. But, yeah, it comes with everything that you need. Like the clips, the elastic band, all that good stuff. But we do need to bleach these knots, okay? These are double knots, so what I like to do is always start by spraying my hair with some water so I can get rid of all of the flyaways, push them back, and then I'm going to get into bleaching the knots. Let me tell y'all off rip. I super duper apologize for the lighting in this video. I'm trying to give y'all better quality, so I am filming with 4K. So I'm new to this, not true to this, okay? And um, my ring light was up a little too bright, so the lighting in this video is annoying. But anyways, back to what I'm doing right here in the video. I'm just pushing all the hair back and pinning it down with my T-pins. So this wig don't go nowhere as I apply all of this bleach. So like I said with the lighting, you probably won't be able to read the bottles. I'm so sorry, but I'm using 30 Volume Developer by Clairol and um, Wella Color Charm Bleaching Powder. Uh, yeah, these are my favorites right now. And I'm going to mix them together to get a really, really light, not light, a really loose consistency, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna spray my hair with Gatsby so I can protect the lace. If you're scared of bleaching knots, do this, blow dry it, and you are good to go, okay? This is literally creating a shield on your lace. Make sure that it's dry and you'll be able to bleach the knots, but never over bleach your roots of your hair. So yeah, make sure you like this video because I stay giving y'all the tips and tricks. So once you have your bleach all over your knots, you're going to allow that to sit and then rinse it off and wash with purple shampoo. You also want to let the purple shampoo sit to get rid of all of that brassiness. Off rip, let me tell y'all, as I was um, conditioning my hair and washing off all that purple shampoo, I didn't really receive no shedding. So we love that, okay? I hate when we shed excessively so clay you got my heart right now now we're going into plucking do y'all see what my wig is on top of it's on a white towel okay arrogant Tay told me that it helps with plucking just so you can see everything that you're doing so starting off you always want to section off your baby hairs and make sure you get a good amount of sections okay because we don't want no balding right here in that area that's not cute all right i'm gonna zoom in for y'all so y'all can see again excuse the lighting but you really want to take your time with this process 
go straight back, go to the side, the way that you're going to part it, you know, move the hair around and make sure that you're taking your time and taking off a little bit of hair at a time. Plucking is self-explanatory, but it just takes a while, so make sure that you also have a lot of patience. Also, in order for your wig to look super duper natural, you want to go in a little heavily around the temple areas because everyone has a natural, a naturally thin hairline by their temples. So as you can see right here, it looks way more plucked than the rest of the hair. That's exactly what you want. So yeah, just do that all over. Make sure you continuously part, remove the hair, continue to pluck, and it should come out looking really, really good in the end. you take a step back and look at the before and after, you can see how drastically the difference is. Plucking is so important and honestly, this is just like the first round of plucking. I will go back, the more I wear the hair, the more I pluck. So this is what we're looking like right now. I decided to get myself a side part for this video and now we're gonna get into installing. So I'm excited to do this video because it's a little bit different, okay? You see, I don't do, I ain't doing no ball cap method, okay? Like, what? Since when? That's literally the first step that I always do when I apply my wigs. But to be honest, I've been doing a lot of wigs, a lot of hair sponsors, a lot of reviews, and y'all, that can cause a lot of tension on your edges. I don't want us to not have no baby hairs, okay? I want to preserve my hair, so. I'm just putting on my makeup on my cap, but I'm not going to glue it to my head because not everybody got time for that, okay? Like, wait, my edges be going through it sometimes. So, I'm going to put the um, makeup onto my cap, and I'm also going to put the makeup onto my wig. Please don't judge my braid down. <laughs> These are the same braids that I had from when I did my um, straight back tutorial, so don't judge me. I had a nothing's video about you guys, but yeah, you wanna make sure that you have a good amount of makeup on both so that when you put it on to your head, everything matches perfectly. I will say, when I attach my wig to my head, I definitely should have put concealer on my part. You're gonna see what I'm talking about in just a second, but just make sure you got enough makeup or use lace tint. I really need to get one of those. Um, to make sure that everything matches. If you're doing the makeup thing, make sure that you dry it. So it got to be sprayed in a blow dryer so none of the makeup transfers. Um, you don't lose everything that you just did. And also, don't forget to cut off that damn lace in the back. I always forget and then it's, it starts to itch the back of my neck and then nobody got time for that, okay? So right here, right now, the tip and trick to make sure that your cap does not show how it's showing right now is you just got to pull it back a little bit. After you pull it back, like what I just did, you want to make sure that you um, prep your skin by putting on rubbing alcohol. But y'all, after you apply the wig, put a little concealer on your part. I forgot. I was filming this at 3 in the morning, no cap. Like, I was tired, girl. But, yeah. Once you have that all prepped, you're going to use your got to be spray. Got to be spray is so much better for your edges. It's super duper easy to remove. All you need to do is remove it with alcohol and you're good. You spray it once and you blow dry it, right? You're going to continuously touch it to see when it gets tacky because this stuff goes from tacky to completely dry in like two seconds. Like, swear to God, it's annoying if you don't know what to do. But once your finger sticks to your hairline, that's when you're gonna spray another coat. Make sure it's only on the area that you want the wig to lay on. 
make sure that that gets tacky and then you're just going to apply the lace directly to your skin and I promise you you're going to have a just like the same hole that you get from glue you're going to have with this spray it's not going to be as long lasting you know it's not going to last you three four days no this is for when you want to wear your wig throughout the day come home take it off at night you know what I'm saying yeah but it's really good for the videos that I do because you're not messing up your edges. So, yeah, I'm going to let y'all watch this process and I'm going to come back in just a second. to be spray has a good amount of hold by itself but you definitely want to make sure that it sticks to your head by using an elastic band elastic bands are my best friend okay and now i'm gonna go into styling i definitely wanted to use my infinity pro for this because it gives really nice big bouncy curls i got this curling iron from target for 20 dollars, and it's bomb um, and I'm going to make sure that I put layers in my hair because, you know, the bigger the curl, the more layers you want to have because it just falls and frames your face so nicely. Um, also definitely wanted to curl my hair because y'all see the highlights, like this like chocolatey brown color was so cute to me. So the curls definitely accentuates the highlights. Oh, 
She put my man to wear like this. I'm not like this anymore. Hope I make it out of here. She saw my eyes, she know I'm cool. I see some things that you might feel. I'm doing a show, I'll be back soon. That ain't what you wanna hear. Say you love me, don't you lie? You come on, I don't wanna die. Keep it personal, I'm shy. Case of dreams, she feel my mind on what I did. I'm not as sad as me. Hope I make it out of here. Things just about to lose. Papa made a case of real. He's not the man. Please excuse all of the facial expressions I was making. I was talking to my mom. You know, we were spilling some tea, but um, just wanted to pop back in to kind of give a little bit of review of Kalei's hair. So far, for this to be a body wave wig unit, um, it didn't hold a curl as best as I thought it was. I will let y'all know that I had to recurl my hair, even though I pinned it. I had to recurl my hair, but it's okay. I guess I was going for a specific look, and by the time I finished my makeup, my hair was kind of like in waves, but I wanted them to be in curls. So other than that, the hair is amazing. Um, As far as the lace, we did have double knots. That's okay. It went away with the bleaching, but the lace is a little bit thicker than normal, but like it's not too like fragile. But it didn't melt into my skin how I wanted it to. But, you know, it's still good. Like, it's still good quality. You know what I'm saying? The hair itself is super soft, super manageable, and I ain't getting no shedding. So, like, that's what I really loved about this wig. So, yeah, definitely go shop with them. And when you do, make sure that you use my discount code. I'm going to put it on the screen so you can save your coin. Tell them Tara sent you. And yeah, if you also try this method to save your edges, girl, make sure y'all tag me on y'all social media so I can see what y'all looking like. Don't 
So, yeah, you guys, after all of that styling, all of that finessing, we came out with some really, really nice results. And I love the way that this hair looks. Definitely will be rocking this wig again. So, yeah, stay tuned. Make sure y'all check me on the ground for the flicks. You know what I'm saying? I went ahead and did my makeup, came back, and everything is just popping, okay? Everything came together. If you want to see my makeup tutorial, it should be the video that got dropped before that. It's probably linked in the description box as my previous upload but yeah do y'all see how these highlights really came through with the curls i love it the hair is bouncy it's shiny it's voluptuous voluptuous voluminous whatever you want to say okay all right at this point i'm rambling thank you Kaledi, for sponsoring this video i hope y'all enjoy and stay tuned for the next one bye mamas Hold it, got the dumb yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it.